Everywhere you look, there is something to admire. The beauty of nature, the majesty of the architecture, or some crazy installation in a museum. Artists have always been able to capture these things beautifully, and there's no better time than now. It might not seem like a big deal now, but street art was once frowned upon. Historically, graffiti and hip-hop are where it all came from. But now spray paint and latex are pushing the medium forward with both optical illusions and moving mannequins. Here's seven amazing street art that is at another level. Skeletons rising from the dead. This is in Mexico City, people. Of course, you might guess preparing for Dia de Muertos, the Day of the Dead festival. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Bot, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. Number 7. Insane51's Hidden Art Alright, for this next entry, you'll probably need those blue and red three glasses that you get at the movies to comprehend the full mastery of this incredible art. But luckily for us, some sort of the technical wizardry has given us the ability to truly appreciate its optical illusion. Meet Stathis Savalius, also known as Insane51. Eventually, came to the artistic realization that blending both green and green and overlapping layers would create a three-dimensional illusionary effect. The rest, as they say, is history. As one of the pioneers of a method known as the Double Exposure 3D, Insane 51 has since partnered with many art exhibitions across the planet, including some of the most prestigious street art festivals in Europe, where his pioneering eye for optical illusions have wowed bystanders depending on the color of the light exposure on the street art. Observers will see contrasting images and some lights they'll see a beautiful woman staring back at them. In others, they'll see a terrifying and snarling wolf. Awesome! Number 6. The Tidal Murals The truth is graffiti and urban exploration often go hand in hand, and most of the thrill that was captured in the early days of street art was in trying to access the most inaccessible of places in order to leave behind a tag or a mural that signified that you, the artist was there. It was awesome and thrilling and part of the reason why graffiti became so impactful during the late 80s and the 90s. So, then what could possibly be more inaccessible than painting a picture underwater? Okay, maybe not quite, but the method remains the same. Meet Hawaiian artist, Sin Yoro, an incredible talent who has taken his painting studio along for a ride on the waves of the Hawaiian shoreline and across the water waves and rivers of the beautiful Hawaiian islands. Although, the artist has been pretty coy about the exact location of these murals. He insists that all of them were installed in places that appeared to be abandoned and lifeless. His goal was to breathe life into the areas through murals and art, installing them in the most unexpected of places. Scene's intention was to represent the many changing moods of the times that we are currently living through almost as if the landscape itself had a myriad of emotions to present. Beautiful. Number 5. Gregor Wozik's Optical Illusions All right, for our first entry into the weird and wonderful world, let's take a look at one of the most surprising and unexpected practitioners of the concrete canvas, while street artists typically associated with graffiti artists and social revolutionaries trying to take a chunk out of the system. Believe it or not, but that's not always the case. Meet Gregor Wozik a polished German artist who is classically trained and has been practicing his incredible art since the early 1980s. His style is exciting, thrilling, and oftentimes slightly scary for ordinary members of the public. Formally, Wosik was inspired by the old masters of classic art, with his favorite idols being Caravaggio Rembrandt, and his style has been forged by the various oil and acrylic paintings of the old world. However, Gregor Wosik enjoyed nothing more than the huge mural paintings of old, and after seeking a bigger and bigger canvas to produce his art, he finally found the walls of buildings and the concrete pavement of the streets as the perfect place to ply his craft. In 2008, Wosik presented his first exhibition in Vienna, Austria, where he used optical illusions in three perspectives to recreate some of the ancient biblical scenes of the old masters. Don't look down. Number 4. Tom Bob's Reinventions While street art is often reserved for the incredible talent of spray-painting lifelike and photorealistic murals, we also have to applaud those that seek to repurpose the most mundane inner-city objects. For our next entry, let's take a look at a street artist to whom nothing is useless. Meet Tom Bob, 
an artist who has since gained a reputation for running amok. The streets of New York and Massachusetts, who uses the forgotten elements of the street to create a series of whimsical and oftentimes magical artwork. Whether it's turning electric meters into devious primates or turning sewer drains into the ghosts from Pac-Man, Tom Bob somehow manages to see things that others have failed to. While many would take a look at a boring old manhole cover and see nothing but an entrance to a sewer, Tom Bob sees a cast iron skillet frying eggs. Many would look at old window covers in rusted metal bars. But Tom Bob sees the silhouette of a bird that has escaped its cage. Although the work can be seen as simple, it's certainly far from obvious, and it's difficult to look at the whimsical works of Tom Bob and not crack a smile. And that's amazing. Number 3. Ray Medina Jan's Dia de los Muertos Mural All right, hold on to your hats because this next one is mind-blowing. Believe it or not, but by using crumbling street features junk and rubble, this incredible artist brought to life the idea of a skeleton rising from the rubble. Much in keeping with the immensely important Dia de los Muertos, the Mexican Day of the Dead festival that celebrates ancestors from Aries past, the multi-day holiday, where celebrations are traditionally commenced on November 1st, involves family and friends gathering to pray for and remember friends and loved ones that have since passed away. However, rather than being a dark and mournful affair, the festival itself celebrates the spirit realm and Mexican people do not see it as a day of sadness, but rather a means of celebration for their loved ones. Back in 2019 to commemorate this sentiment, an artist named Raimundo Medina built this gigantic skeleton in the middle of a street. Piles upon piles of crumbled concrete were used to create the illusion that the skeleton itself was bursting from the asphalt and the result was insane. Considering the crazy events of 2020 so far, we wonder what other skeletal sculptures are awaiting this year's Dia de los Muertos. Number 2. M City's Kharkiv Mural while many examples of street art are applied for the sheer joy of being alive. Some other murals depict a much deeper display of the human condition, such as the case with M City's Kharkiv mural, a series of spray-painted pieces that have attempted to tackle the complexity of modern-day Eastern Europe located in the streets of Kharkiv, Ukraine. These pieces created by the incredibly talented artist M City depict what it means to live as a free person in modern-day Ukraine. Considering the troubled Soviet history, as well as being the country awash with both Russian sympathizers and freedom fighters, amidst a proud, independent political landscape mixed in with a tradition of hard labor and industrialization. This series of astonishing street art signifies that the individual in Ukraine finds their own identity constantly at war in a state of compromise. M. City, otherwise known as Mario Dores, was born in the late 1970s in the Ukrainian town of Guinea and has since gained a reputation in the art world for being one of the most radical and free-thinking street artists of the past few decades. His work focuses strictly on urban spaces, mainly across the architecture of the old Eastern Bloc and can be seen amongst the streets of Warsaw, Berlin, Paris, London, Craig, and many more places across the planet. Number 1. Subway Station Bowie Portrait Although, many of the incredible pieces that have already featured on this list are instantly recognizable. Few of them are as iconic as our next entry. David Bowie, one of the most prolific and legendary musicians to have ever lived was captured in an incredible street art installation at New York's Broadway Lafayette Subway. As a tribute to the late great artist and a collaboration between Spotify and the Brooklyn Museum, this fragmented street art styled portrait which makes use of natural urban features. The beams in this case captures Bowie and distinctive photorealism, but only from a certain angle. Certainly, it's a fitting testament to the life of an artist who knew so many different identities, different phases, eras, and journeys within a singular artist's life. The Subway Takeover explored the musician's influence on music, fashion, and culture, and the installation also included printed quotes, fan-made art and maps of its favorite New York City hangouts. Better still above ground, the exhibition featured life-size cardboard cutouts of Bowie that were placed all across the city, from Times Square to Brooklyn and downtown Manhattan, where he featured in his many iconic styles and characters. Whether you're a fan of David Bowie or not, there's no doubting that this street art installation was a worthy tribute to his incredible life. 
Well, there we have it folks. 7 amazing street art that is at another level. What do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching The Missing Bot. See you next time.